Hello everyone! Today we're going to be looking at how to build this 4x4 seamless glass piston rod that I designed for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. And as you can see, the majority of the door is actually in two blocks wide. It's quite compact, with this little bit at the bottom extending out to three blocks of width. Anyways, let's look at the door in action. So, here we have the opening sequence. As you can see, it's not slow at all. It's actually quite fast, relatively speaking. And once the door completely opens up, we push the glass out of the way and the falling blocks out of the way, leaving us with a nice seamless hallway. It's what you want. Anyways, for the closing sequence, we push the glass back over and then we close the door. Now that you've seen the opening and the closing, I want to talk a little bit about this door. First of all, it is actually quite cheap. It only requires 7 observers for the entire build, which is pretty good. The store also doesn't have a cooldown time, which means that as soon as the final block gets moved out of the hallway, you can instantly flick that lever once again. You don't have to wait after the door opens or after the door closes before you can toggle its state, which is always something quite nice. And finally, what I want to say is that it is actually quite simple. In reality, all that it is, it's a bunch of block swappers here and there, then block pushers at the top, and a triple piston extender. It is surprisingly simple, especially for the door, which is this cool. But anyways, that is all I have to say about the store, and let's begin the tutorial. So for this build, you are going to be needing a stacking team of resin discs, resin torches, 32 resin repeaters, 7 observers, 36 normal pistons, 14 sticky pistons, 12 falling blocks, 46 class, 8 lever, 2 stacks, and 42 building blocks. Alright, so first things first, we need to know where our door is going to be once it is completed. It is going to sit in the middle of this 3 block deep hallway once it is completed. So there's your reference. Anyways, you're going to start off by placing 9 temporary blocks facing the outside. So that's 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. You're going to remove these, as well as this one, and then you're going to place four sticky pistons, no, four normal pistons, facing the inside just like that. Once that's done, you can remove this. Then you're going to place four more temporary blocks, and then four more normal pistons facing the inside, just like that. Then you're going to do practically the same thing on the other side, except that we're going to place four non-temporary blocks. So these actually have to match up with the hallway, and that's so that when the door is opened, we don't see any glass. Anyways, you're going to place five temporary blocks, so five just there, and then you're going to place four normal pistons facing the inside. And you probably guessed it, we're going to place four temporary blocks right here, and then four more pistons facing this way. So that's pretty much it for the block swappers, and now let's work on the pistons for the triple piston extender. So you're going to place two temporary blocks, and then four blocks right here, and then a fifth one right here. You're going to remove all of these. And then at the bottom, you're going to place one, two, three sticky pistons, then a normal piston. And you're going to pretty much remove this and then copy that over three times. So there we go. We have it three times. And now for the piston. So right here, what you're going to do now is that you're going to place in your falling blocks. It can be concrete. It can be sand, gravel. It doesn't really matter. I've chosen white concrete because it matches with the iron blocks, but it can be anything except for anvils because they will break eventually. Anyways. Over here at the top, you're going to place four temporary blocks, then five temporary blocks, and then you're going to break all of these. Now you're going to place four normal pistons facing down, one, two, three, four, and you're going to copy that over three more times. And believe it or not, that is actually the entire piston layout done. So once you're done, it should look something like this. With all the pistons now in place, we can begin work on the actual input. So your input is going to be right here, it's going to be that lever. You can run a rest and repeater into that block to power it. Anyways, place a block there with some rest and dust on top of it, a solid block right there, and a sticky piston facing downwards with an observer facing this way. Now I'm going to place a block right there, and a repeater set to one tick going into a block, and then underneath that we will have a solid block with some rest and dust on top of it. I'll place a block right there with some rust and dust on top of it, and then you're going to do this pattern with solid building blocks. So, once all of that is done, you're going to place repeaters set to two ticks of delay in between all of them. Now, to finish off, you're going to place a solid block right there and four falling blocks right here. So, now that that's done, we're going to begin work on the triple piston extender. So, begin by placing a solid block right there and then a block right there. You're going to place a repeater set to two ticks of delay going into that, and then three repeaters set to four ticks of delay going into a redstone line right here. So you're going to place blocks like this going out, and the block to finish it off right here. Now, we're going to place glass there, and some more glass right here with some more redstone dust on top of it. And you're going to place observers facing upwards just like this. Very, very simple. Now you're going to grab your redstone torches, I'm going to place one here, a block there, another one here, 
and another block right there. Place a block right here and a redstone repeater is set to one tick of delay. Now that that's done, you can place two blocks with redstone dust on top of them, another block and your repeater is set to four ticks of delay. Place a block right there with some redstone dust on top of it. Up here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna place a block, a repeater set to one tick of delay, a block right there, and some more redstone dust. Anyways, on the other side, what you're going to do is you're gonna place three pieces of glass, an observer facing downward, downwards, and redstone dust on top of all of that. You're gonna place two blocks there, two redstone repeaters set to, two, to set to four ticks of delay, a block right there, and then over here at the bottom, what you're gonna do, you're gonna place two blocks, two pieces of glass, and two redstone dust just like that. Place a block right there, a sticky piston facing downwards, and an observer facing this way. There we go. Now, what you can do is you're going to place a block there, a repeater set to three ticks of delay, a block, some redstone dust, another block right here, and some redstone dust right here. We'll connect this up to something else later on. But anyways, that should actually be the trope piston extender done. Now, to connect it up, what you're going to do is you're going to make this sort of L shape right here. Place a block there, and a redstone repeater set to four ticks of delay, Another redstone repeater set to four ticks of delay, just like that. And then this right here is actually going to be connected up to this just like that. There we go. So that is actually connected up nice and easy up to there. With that done, we then need to connect this up to these two sets of pistons in order to complete the opening sequence. So place three blocks right there and three repeaters to set to three ticks of delay, just like that. Then you're going to create a redstone line, which is going to go up like this, right this way. And then you're going to break the blocks right here and place redstone dust on top of them. You're going to place some glass right there, redstone dust there and there, another piece of glass right there. And then you're going to place blocks up here like this going up and it should end up right here. So you can place redstone dust on top of all of that. There we go. Anyways, at the bottom, what you're going to do, you're going to place blocks in this way. And then we're going to place repeaters set to two ticks of delay and one tick of delay. So two on two ticks of delay and one on one tick of delay. At the top, we're going to do something very similar, except that we're going to place them on the side. So repeater says do two ticks of delay and then another repeater set to two ticks of delay and then a block right here and a repeater set to one tick of delay you can place a block right there and believe it or not that is actually the entire opening sequence completed so if you go ahead and activate this we can see that we have the general piston extender working and then it pushes everything over leaving us with the nice seamless hallway so now we need to get to work on the closing sequence to begin working on the closing sequence, we're going to start off by placing glass there and some glass right there. So place some redstone dust on top of it, then another piece of glass right there, and two blocks going out this way, and a block going up right here. Place some redstone dust on top of all of that. You're going to place blocks like this, and then you're going to place a repeater set to two ticks of delay here, here, and here. So three repeaters set to two ticks of delay. Now this is going to go up four blocks. So one, two, three, four. Then it's going to go to the side like this. And then we're going to go up another block and then up like this. And there's going to be three blocks at the top. So you can go ahead and place some redstone dust on top of everything. So that way it will be connected. Now over here, what we're going to do is that we're going to place a block there and there. The repeater set to two ticks of delay going into a redstone line right here and some redstone dust on top of it. Place a block right there, some glass right here, and then a repeater set to two ticks of delay going into a block, which above, which below it will have some redstone dust going down like this. And then here, of course, we're going to have another redstone line, just like that. Brilliant. Now place a block there, another block, and actually some glass right here, and another repeater set to two ticks of delay, and we're gonna do pretty much the same thing except going the other way. There we go. So now you can connect this redstone line up to this, which will have some more glass right here. And then we're going to do the exact same thing one last time. So some glass there, repeater set to two ticks of delay, going into a block, which below will have some redstone dust. And then we can connect this up to the final part of the redstone line. Now you can actually use solder blocks for this, which is cheaper. But anyways, 
There we go. And that should actually be the entire door done. So there you have it, my 4x4 seamless glass piston door all done. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions regarding how to power this or if you're having any issues, feel free to ask me down in the comments section. Anyways, that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye!